In this video, I am going to discuss about combined compromise solution MADM method. This method was developed by Yazdani and team in the year 2018. This method talks about the compromise solution method. We have already seen various kinds of compromise solution method. For example, say Wicker. So Wicker is a compromise solution MADM method. So here the compromise solution is a feasible solution which is closest to the ideal solution and it is also means an agreement established between the mutual connections of the solution. To understand this method very clearly, I am taking a simple example of the seven alternatives and then try to apply this simple six steps onto this particular problem and we try to calculate the alternatives ranking and from that seven alternatives which is the best alternatives we can identify. As we have seen various uh, uh, MADM methods on this particular problem that is the material selection for a cryogenic tank transportation of a liquid nitrogen. So here there are seven alternatives for us like seven various materials are there and we are having various kinds of beneficial and non-beneficial attributes. So beneficial attributes talking about the toughness index, yield strength and X modulus. Whereas non-beneficial talks about the density, thermal expansion, thermal conductivity and specific heat. And this is our input decision matrix. So I can say, I can term this particular uh, thing as a input decision matrix. And also I am trying to use the weights which has been already used in the various methods. So for our easy understanding, this weights has been calculated by other previous researchers. So I am trying to use directly those weights for these corresponding criteria. We can choose uh, various kinds of other uh, methods also for weightages like we can use AHP analytical hierarchy process critic method we can use entropy method we can use so as in the first step in most of the MCDM problems we will we need to frame a decision matrix okay so the decision matrix is there with us so next is the second step so we have a second uh, step as normalization of input decision matrix here we have for benefit criteria we have a separate formula and for cost criteria we have a separate formula. So here we have beneficial and non-beneficial. So beneficial we, we benefit criteria, non-beneficial means the cost criteria. So here we are having maximum and minimum values. So first of all I will try to calculate the maximum and minimum values for our input decision matrix. So first thing is minimum, maximum. So minimum I will calculate like this. And this will be common for this entire row and maximum again this maximum is also common for this entire row based upon this minimum and maximum values we have to calculate the normalization matrix that is rij matrix so this rij matrix for three columns we need to use that is for three criteria we need to use this formula and remaining four criteria we have to use this formula so that will be our step two so first of all, I am taking is equal to xij is this one minus minimum this one. So I am going to class f4 double times and then closing the brackets then again maximum again f4. Why I am taking two times pressing the f4 means I need to change in terms of column wise not in the row wise minus minimum and then closing the brackets just pressing enter and this will be common for the first three columns so just to simply drag that's all and again for the fourth column there is a change in the formula so what is the change in the formula max minus xij so where is the max this is the max and again pressing f4 two times minus xij this one divided by max minus in max again this one two times f4 minus minimum again two times f4 so closing the brackets and this will be common for the remaining three rows so just i am dragging it like this so now the first set of the points has been completed now the first row has been completed if i just drag and drop it up to the next row then up to the last alternative then almost all matrices will be appeared here. So this is our normalization of input decision matrix that is the second step. Now we have to perform the third step 
so third step is sum of the weighted comparability matrix so that is in the weighted summation method we have used this one so sum of the weighted sum weighted comparability matrix so that is the values which we have got from the normalized matrix we have to multiply with the weights so it's a simple procedure just multiply that one with respect to weight and this weight will be common for this entire column so i am just press pressing f4 two times and it has to change simultaneously then i have going to select the rij value just press enter and then i am just dragging it up to the next alternatives if i try to double click it i can able to automatically check it whether the value is correspondingly matching or not so this is the thermal conductivity column this thermal conductivity column weight is getting matched with the thermal conductivity rij value right so i can able to cross check it if it is okay then just to drag it up to 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we can able to cross check it at any time whether we have done it correctly or not so after completion of the step 3 we have to go for step 4 now the step 4 is power of the weighted comparability matrix so whatever the rij matrix we have done for that one we have to do power so here power how we have to do that rij value whatever the rij value is having with us to the power of the weighted values and this weight is also common for this entire matrix so i am pressing f4 twice then drag it up to last one then drag it up to seven alternatives 3 4 5 6 and 7 good so we have got the matrix now whatever the step 3 and step 4 we are having summation here so we have to get the summation values of this one so where n is a number of alternatives what i do is i will drag si is equal to sum of s values just to drag it to the bottom similarly for power weighted also we have to take pi sum of s and r values and drag it so we have got the step 3 and step 4 si and pi values in our matrix column so the fifth step is aggregation of appraisal score strategies here the score strategies is going to classified into three categories three steps like ka kb and kc and at the last we will try to calculate the final ranking also that will be in the step 6 so here see by seeing the formulas we have to estimate so k is having the combination of pi plus si even kb is also a combination of pi and si but minimum values it is going to be considered and kc it is having a combination of max values and lambda values also here we can consider the lambda value as 0.5 so i will consider the lambda value as 0.5 we can vary it from 0 to 1 the first step in the ki is we have to get the sum values of pi plus si and we have to calculate the summation also so what i will do is i will take a separate column where i am going to calculate pi plus si so that is equal to summation of this value and this value and just to drag it up to 7 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and in the next column what i will do is i will try to calculate this total one so pi plus si divided by summation so divided by summation of this entire to and this will be common for this all rows so i will press f4 so that it will be common for all the rows next drag it simply drag it yes we got it now i will calculate the rank so rank of this value comma this entire values and this press f4 close the bracket enter and we have got the first value ranking as 6 okay well and good and now we will calculate the kb value so the kb value how we have to calculate is equal to si divided by minimum values of this entire values and this will be common for the entire seven alternatives i am just pressing f4 then again close the bracket plus pa divided by minimum of pa pa divided by mean of this entire pa press f4 close the brackets enter now just simply drag it 
next what i will do is i will copy the same formula here and i will edit it and just i will try to drag it to this one because the formula is same ranking formula i am not doing it again next kc so kc is going to be calculated by using this formula lambda into si so i will carefully enter the formula see lambda value i am taking it as 0.5 into si this si will be common for this no, very will this si will be vary from row to row so i am just selecting it close the bracket plus 1 minus lambda that is 1 minus 0.5 multiplied by pa this value what i will do is i will close this bracket as well as i will take one more bracket to the outer side like this only for this one i will take one more bracket okay so like this i am trying to take and divided by divided by next open the bracket lambda into max of si that is 0.5 into max of si and this will be common for the entire row just press f4 close okay plus 1 minus 0.5 that is 1 minus lambda into max of pa max of pa press f4 close the bracket and again here i also i am giving one more bracket and at the last i will close it this one more bracket so we have got kc value just to simply drag it up to seven alternatives and then for ranking i am copying this formula and editing it and i am dragging this up to these values and then drag it up to two now if you observe ka value is 671134 alternatives only here also it is the same alternatives here also the ranking is same so almost all here we can come to a conclusion that third alternative is a best alternative so step 6 is the multiplication of ka kb and kc values plus summation of the kc and kb values plus 1 by 3 1 by 3 is how many 3 ka kb and kc there are three cases so i will do it very carefully so k a value is this one multiplied by k b multiplied by k c to the power of 1 divided by 3 and i will give a bracket here also and then again plus 1 divided by 3 multiplied by k a plus k b k a again this one plus kb plus kc and this plus enter now drag it up to seventh row calculate the rank rank i am just copying the previous rank format and this plus enter okay drag it you can cross check it any time okay it will be giving the current alternative only so here also the ranking is same so now coming to conclusion we can able to say that rank alternative 3 is the best alternative by seeing these averages of ka kb kc and k values the third alternative is a best alternative so here we can able to select the third alternative and this is the procedure and these are the steps we have to follow for solving combined compromise solution multi attribute decision making method thank you